Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the McGonagall Boxing Podcast. We are live, we shoot from the hip, let's get straight to it. Dillian Wyatt and Andy Ruiz Jr. are going at it at social media and I've got to be honest with you, I'm loving every second of it. It's keeping me entertained during lockdown. But let's break down a potential fight. Is it likely to happen? Well, I think so because let's be honest, sadly for Dillian Wyatt, I can't see Tyson Fury fighting him. Cannot see that. I believe Tyson Fury will not give an opportunity, probably because he doesn't think it's going to make him enough money. I disagree with that. I think it would be a massive pay-per-view event. But Dillian White is in the Who Needs You club, isn't he? Um, Tyson Fury would be expected to beat White, but will he? More than likely, but there's no question White could beat Fury, could clean his clock. If Fury underestimates him, starts showboating, that left hook could knock anyone out. So he's in the Who Needs You club, isn't it? And I think Fury sees it as a lot of lose-lose situation. He's going to lose face if he loses to White. He's expected to beat him, but he knows he could lose to him. So he's not going to fight White, I guarantee you that. He's going to come up with, I believe, an excuse he's not a money draw, where we all know White has proven over the last two years, headlining O2, pay-per-view fighter in his own right, he is a money draw. Not Joshua money draw, but still a money draw, so I don't agree with that. Wilder might fight White, but again, if he was going to, he would have done. The last two years have shown that. He's kind of avoiding White, like the plague. So it gets to a point where... Why needs to have a big fight, money fight. Who else, apart from the champions, is he going to fight? Ruiz Jr. fits that mould beautifully. And it's a great fight and a winnable fight for White if he fights smart. So, yes, I can see the fight happening. No, it's not going to happen this year. But 2021, as long as Ruiz is motivated, I can see it happening. Who's going to win, though? So, let's say they do finally agree terms early 2021. For me, no one, and I mean no one, I mean Wilder, I mean Fury, I mean Joshua, beats Ruiz in a firefight. He's shown that against Parker, he's shown that against Joshua, he's shown that against everyone. If you stand and trade with Ruiz, it doesn't end well for you. Now, Parker arguably has got the best chin in the heavyweight division, and he ran in eventually from, from Ruiz. He didn't fight him for long spells in the pocket, because when he did, he come up, come out second best. He was given a hometown decision, in my view, in that fight. But this is Ruiz, more experienced and better now. Look what he did to Joshua, one of the biggest punches in the heavyweight division. No slouch himself with hand, feed, hand speed and foot speed. Knockout artist, got buzzed, got stopped by Ruiz. Why? will exactly go down that road and that route if he thinks he can stand and trade with Ruiz. His hand speed is not as good as Ruiz. His foot speed, I don't believe, is as good as Ruiz. Yes, he's got the left hook, but unfortunately, I don't believe he's going to land before Ruiz lands. I think Ruiz has got hooks and he can throw four by the time White gets one in. Who's going to win? It doesn't need to take a rocket science to tell you who's going to come out on top. I also believe Ruiz has got a better chin than White. White can catch and hurt Ruiz, especially that deadly left hook of his. He sparked Jazura out, who's got a massive chin himself. But Ruiz, I believe, is a special fighter when he's in shape, when he's focused, and when you fight his fight. White what worries me about White is he would have to stand off from Ruiz and pick him apart and wait for his chance. That's how I can see it. But time has shown time and time again, White is an impatient. I don't believe, although his boxing skills have improved, he's not what we call a sublime boxer, a, a natural boxer. Someone like a, a Fury who can happily fight Ruiz from distance. Even Joshua struggled at times. That'd be very committed to this, but this is an Olympic champion who's worked hard on his boxing skills. Why is not the boxer Joshua is, and he's certainly not the box, boxer Fury is. And I think his pride and his bravado will get him engaged in a firefight, which I can see ending badly for him. Um, not to say he can't buzz Ruiz that left hook, but I think <clears throat> Ruiz will do more damage. I think he'll overwhelm, and I think he'll stop White around seven or eight because I cannot see White 
boxed in smart for too long. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see him pick him apart and count the punch him. He can do it. I'm not saying it's an impossible task, but my money always says that White can't resist the tear up. He's going to engage and he's going to come out second best. And I think he'll get stopped by Ruiz, a relentless Ruiz, who I think with all this bravado, all this bad mouth, the fact he's got a point to prove will come up in shape. He'll rock up in that 18 stone, not 21 stone. And he'll be ready to fight. And when he does, he's a different preposition. My money is on a Ruiz KO. I'm saying round seven, round eight, he gets White out of there. I'd love to see Dylan White do it. He deserves his crack at the world title. And no question, if he beats Ruiz Jr., there's no other fight out there for him but a world title. And I believe, I fully believe, he can beat Joshua. Um, I don't believe he's going to beat Fury. Um, And uh, it'd be very tough for him to beat Ruiz, I think. I think he can beat Wilder and Joshua, though. Styles make fights. He can get to them, too, before... They get to him, but with Ruiz, I don't think that's the case, and I think he gets outboxed by Fury. But let's make the fight. It's a big money fight. It's a great fight. It's a pay per view fight in the UK, no question. Ruiz Jr., will he come to the UK though? I believe he will with enough, enough money's offered. Headline the O2, get it on 2021. Eddie Hearn, Al Heyman, let's get this on. I'm going for Ruiz win though, because why? Cannot stay disciplined for long enough. Unlike like Joshua did. That really pained him to do that. But he did it because he got Rob McCracken in his corner. White hasn't got Rob McCracken. And I don't think he's disciplined enough to beat Ruiz. Let me know what you guys think though. Drop me a line on Instagram, Facebook, on my YouTube, the McGonagall Boxing Podcast. Twitter now on the McGonagall Boxing Podcast. And I'll be back real soon. Alright guys, I'm out. Catch you later. Bye.